So, what is bioweapon? Biological weapon are also called germ weapon. Any of a number of disease producing agents such as toxins, fungi, and viruses that may be utilized as weapons against animals, plants, and humans. Biological agents such as anthrax and plug can pose a difficult public health challenge causing number of deaths in short amount of time while being difficult in contain. Bioterrorism attacks could also result in an epidemic, for example, Lassa viruses and Ebola that were used as an biological agents. Hi, Assalamualaikum. Okay, as we know, bioweapon is also called as germ weapon. Uh, that any of a number of disease uh, that produced by agents such as uh, bacteria, virus, uh, fungi, and also toxin, or other biological agent that may like, that may cause utilized as a weapon against human, animal, and plant. Okay, uh, there are more example of bio biological weapon such as anthrax. Variola major, Butolinum toxin, Marburg virus, Yasinia res, Yasinia pentis, that cause uh, that cause plug, uh, Ebola virus, Bonia virus, and aflatoxin. Okay, um, but what I want to focus more is uh, anthrax, that causes by Bacillus anthraxis bacteria. Uh, as we know, anthrax is a serious infection disease caused by gram-positive bacteria that have a root shape uh, that has shape like root and uh, and we know as a bacillus anthracis okay. Hi guys, so my name is Muhammad Khairul Faisal So, for my part, I will share to you guys there are three simple steps to prevent ourselves from the virus of biological river for the first step, the most important thing that we need is we must to have a protection from the exposure. What I mean is we must to avoid from eating an animal that was imported from the other country, especially from the United States, uh, because uh, maybe there was a con the animal was contained uh, anthrax, uh, bacteria, or any virus because we don't know the lifestyle of the animal. So for the second step, is we uh, should practice ourselves to use the hygiene lifestyle. Uh, example, um, we need to use this one, the face mask when we at the public place and we must to wash our hand after doing something after doing a work with soap if we do not have soap at that time we also can use this hand sanitizer to replace the soap so for the last step we must to have safe workplace practice what i mean is we must to follow the ppe of protocol and procedure that was created by the company uh, such as we must to wear uh, eyeglass protection uh, protective and wash our hand after doing a work at the workplace. Okay. There are three main of anthrax infection. Firstly, cutaneous anthrax. Cutaneous anthrax occur when people who work or handling contaminated animal products and get the spores into their cut or scrubs. Secondly, inhalation anthrax. Inhalation anthrax happen when people enhance spores that are in the air from the industry that has been contaminated such as wool, hides, and hair. Breathe-in spores mean a person has been infected with anthrax but it does not mean a person will show any symptoms. Lastly, people who eat raw or undercooked meals will get infected with gastrointestinal anthrax, which is bad stomach.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Karol Hamizan B. Azmi And I'm going to give the conclusion of this video So, from all of the evidence stated in this video It's clear that the bioweapon poses a threat to our society There are a lot of examples of bioweapons Like baseless anthracis, Ebola virus and a lot more That really harmful and dangerous to our people as we cannot see this microbe through our naked eyes. Furthermore, these microbes are easily to spread from one person to another person by food, water, by aircraft, aircraft sprayers, human vector and animal vector and a lot more. So, as a precaution, we must always keep ourselves clean and make sure our food is clean and healthy to ensure a guaranteed health.